Here we have the Explorer Scientific Coma Corrector. I've used this uh, two nights on the Explorer Scientific Ultra Lightweight. I found it to be pretty effective, giving a nice flat field and pinpoint stars. Remarkable when you consider that I was using 100 degree eyepieces. Also it has what they call a helix focuser, uh, but I find that it's uh, not quite a helix. It does rotate, but there's absolutely no resistance. And typically, a Gila focuser will give you some kind of resistance to where it'll keep it. But this turns really, really easy. So it's more like a screw-on adapter uh, rather than a what I would call a true helix. Nevertheless, it gets the job done. So you can use different focal length eyepieces in there and still attain a flat field of view. And also, you can attach a filter of your choice. So the way this operates, you see a scale here in one millimeter increments, and each one of these larger bars represents five millimeters. And initially, you would put this in your focuser and adjust this to where it's 13 millimeters, or 13 and a half, rather. So that would be right about there, 13 and a half. And then you focus on a bright object like the moon. And the way you achieve that focus is up here at the top, you would put a piece of frosted tape on the top of this or a piece of frosted plastic held tight. It creates a screen at the top of this two inch eyepiece holder. And you would use your focuser on your telescope until the moon, which it seems to be works pretty well, whether it's a quarter moon or a full moon, until that moon comes nice and focused on that screen that's created by putting a piece of frosted tape on the top. Once you achieve that focus, you lock down your focuser. Then you put your eyepiece inside the coma corrector and you adjust this either in or out until you eliminate the coma or get it as best as you can. And you can tweak the focuser a little bit on your telescope, but most of it needs to come from by focusing here. Now if you're using this coma corrector with the Explorer Scientific Ultra Lightweight telescope, then a quick way of achieving that focus is simply insert this into your focuser and adjust your focuser to where you come to that zero line and split that zero line and you're pretty close to being in focus. I have adjusted it using the moon and that's pretty much where it dials in. It may be just a skosh above or below, but that's pretty much the sweet spot. So it makes it a lot easier if you're using the Explorer Scientific Ultra Lightweight with the Explorer Scientific Coma Corrector. Okay, so there's the reflection coming off the laser collimator on the donut on the primary. And as you can see, it's like a donut itself, but it's centered up. Now this is with the Explorer Scientific Coma Corrector put into the focuser, which if your eyepieces are going into the Coma Corrector, then you should be collimating through that. That's what's going to affect the optics. There it is in the laser collimator. It's a nice kind of oblong circular donut that pretty much corresponds to the scale that's on the Hotec collimator. And that's quite a bit different than what you would normally see if you were just going through the focuser. So here we see the Comer corrector inserted into the focuser and the Hotec collimator inserted into the Comer corrector. It's tightened down using the expansion ring in order to keep it centered. Well, one thing I want to show you here is that here are the three screws that would normally lock your eyepiece into the coma corrector. Now these are not being utilized now because the collimator has its own tightening mechanism which is self-centering. But as you introduce an eyepiece you're going to be using these three screws here. And if you notice when you tighten this up here it'll start to shift it. You see right there? It shifts it and throws it off. So the thing to keep in mind here is when you insert your eyepiece into the coma corrector 
try to keep an equal amount of pressure on these three screws so that you don't throw things out of alignment once you insert your eyepiece.